Hi everybody, I'm Nancy Kelly and I'm here with Steve Garlock. You know, I have people all ages, all sizes in my studio. Steve, and in all levels of experience, don't we? We have a pretty good sized studio. We got about 23 students and, and we always uh, do a show every twice a year. Steve, Steve has been with me quite a while and uh, I would call you a crooner. Are you all right with that? Yeah. I like it. That's how I, Jesus, I, I spent a lot of time listening to Sammy Davis. And mm -hmm. Who were some of your favorites? Well, of course, uh, Frank and Bobby Darren and uh, uh, Sammy, yeah. Uh, Sammy. Dean Martin, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tony Bennett. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You know, there's there's a whole uh, uh, there's a whole controversy about whether some people think uh, Bobby Darren was better than Frank Sinatra. Yeah, it's a, it's too bad he uh, obviously had it all cut short by his illnesses. I mean, he was really uh, he was something. I mean, he did a pivot. You know, he was a teen idol. You know, and then yeah. he and then he went uh, you know into more of the you know you know the swing. You know, so. There's some similarities, but you know he was taken too soon. So who knows what could have been there? Yeah, you know I, I'm a I'm th that my my claim to fame is uh, fame, is swing. I mean I'm a swing singer, mm -hmm. I, and I get laughing some days because I think, oh my God, does anybody even like swing music anymore <laughs> aside from us? Right. I mean <laughs> even when you look at something that he did, his version, Bobby Darren's version of. A nightingale sang in, in Barclay Square, which everybody does as a ballad. He swung it. I mean, it's you know, oh. it's, it's amazing what he did with it. Yeah, I know. That's uh, yeah, but like it's 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 not relevant today. Yeah, I had this conversation uh, just just yesterday. I think it was with Scott. It was his lesson, and I had this conversation about what's happened to music. What what do you think has happened to music? To, to jazz and to swing. What do you think? Where, what, where do you think it's gone? I just watched a clip of uh, Summer Wind, and somebody had put together a video of it. It wasn't. It wasn't your wasn't video. Mine. It wasn't your video. <laughs> I was like, ah! it was Frank. No, it was Frank's version of it. It was Frank's <laughs> okay. version of it. But somebody put together a, a, a music video of it, and uh, they had a little history of of the song, and then they had a quote from. Uh, Springsteen, who said that's one song that he could listen to for the rest of his life. Wow. And when, but see, he's getting old too, you know, that's the problem. Everybody that has an appreciation for that music is, you know, aging out of it. And it's, uh, it's, it's too bad because, I don't know, you, sometimes when you read the comments on the videos, if you watch them on YouTube, there's a lot of young people that are getting, getting it. Maybe it comes... Maybe maybe there's more appreciation there than we think there is, but well, it teaches, and I know what I was going to say about um, the, the songbook, the American songbook, and all these things. And we're finding out, we're finding out that people, uh, a lot of the rock guys, have spent a lot of time studying the songbook. Well, it's funny they all go back to it. Linda Ronstadt went back to it. Rod Stewart went back to it. Well, um, yeah, but that was a marketing career move. I don't think that was a a, a labor of love. You, what I've learned from you is that when I first started with you, I would want to parrot, you know, Frank. And you always encourage, you encourage all of us, I think, to uh, try to make the song our own. And, I, I love that uh, yeah. phrase, parrot. Yeah, and, yeah. and that's what, uh, you know, that's what I've tried to bring to it. I mean, I have to, you have to learn the song, like you say, and I try to. And a lot of times I'm... I've got muscle memory that I have to break because I know the song singing it, you know, and you don't want to, you don't, you want to try to make it your own. And that's what we work on a lot, you and I. So, yeah, that's my, that's my thing. Well, it, we, we, we call that, um, I call it, um, it's not a pleasant word, but there, there's a lot of what we call regurgitation. Mm -hmm. In other words, the tunes, people are doing the tunes, but they're not, it's just the same thing mm -hmm. over and over and over again. And I think it's a challenge for all jazz people, for sure, to, to bring something new to it without losing the integrity of it. I mean, that, that can be a, that, that's a challenge. It's a real challenge, indeed. So, yeah, 
you but you like a lot of the standards and um yep we should probably let's hear you warm up just a little bit okay nay 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 really nice strong forward sound i'm really loving that that tone loving it Nay, 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 nay. Now I should stop <coughs> oh. you. You fell a little flat, but that's a G. Okay. So what that tells us that, that there's two things. Why do people sing flat? Uh, uh you tell me. I don't know. <laughs> that was a trick <coughs> question. <laughs> so in general, people sing flat because there's no air support. I didn't get a good breath. You didn't get enough air. That's all. That's what we talk about getting under, getting under the sound. What muscle is responsible for changing the velocity of the exhale? The uh, diaphragm, no? No? Wow, help me, come on. What's with the quizzes here? What's going, <laughs> what is going on right now? I didn't know there was gonna be a test today. It's called a lesson. <laughs> Okay, so, <laughs> we do this all the time. We are a crazy laugh. Me and Steve laugh. We were hoping to laugh a lot here. There's two, there's two muscles involved. What's the other one other than your diaphragm that's involved? Uh, your core. Oh. Your core muscles. Okay. All right. So your core muscle is when you hear a... Uh, uh, a vocal coach or someone, or a, they say, get under the note, support the note. That the, the core muscle helps to expedite the velocity of the air. So if your vocal cords are nice and taut, you're going to get a good pitch and a great tone. So let's do that one again. Okay. And let's have you punch that top okay. note for me. All right. All right. Nay, 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 nay. Yeah, you have it. Nay, 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 You said, you told me earlier that that A flat was your break. So what's going to happen now? Let's see. Nay, 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 nay. I don't know. You get it, but boy, that was... Well, you know, we've had this discussion before. Some days it's different. Some days oh, I can make it. And some days I yeah. can't. I can't. It's you know. different for everybody. That happened to be one I wrote down and remembered. <laughs> I, hit, I hit that one day, wrote it down and remembered oh, it. So when you me. asked me, I could say it. You got your money for yeah, it then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, good. <laughs> nay, 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 Dangerous city. Okay. All right. Danger city. We're gonna hum this. Mm -hmm. you, so you hummed that note. So what that tells us is that your body is creating that note. So it's not the note, it's where you're placing it. Alright, so beautiful. Let's do rock and jump to get from a chest to a head tone like that. Oh. 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 Why don't you just sing it if you're cool with it? Give me a kiss to build a dream on And my imagination will make this moment thrive Sweetheart, I ask no more than this A kiss to build a dream on Give me a kiss before you leave me And my imagination will feed my hungry heart Leave me one thing we before we part That's all right, that's all right. Kiss to build so a dream you, on what do you think I like this? that, I like that. The tempo's all right? Yeah. I, I feel like it could be picked up a little. Really? Yeah, I think that it... it this whole thing with tempos is so fussy. You know, it can make the tune... Now, a ballad does well at us. You know, if you slow them down, they get more rich. <clears throat> 
but sometimes an up tune just gets brighter and nicer if you pick it up. This is just a little. This we went from 96 to 101. Let's see if this makes a difference. Let me hear it first. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Maybe even a. I don't know about 106. This might be too much. Yeah, that's too much. That's what that's gonna do is. That's going to make your words run, run on. Make it harder for me to breathe, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how you like this. See how you like this. Um. Give me a kiss to build a dream on, and my imagination will thrive upon that kiss. Sweetheart, I ask no more than this, a kiss to build a dream on. So I have to ask you, yeah. what do you think? Do you do you like the slower one, or did you feel comfortable with this? I don't know. Let's let's do, let's do it again. <laughs> let's it's let very the, easy. Hey, since we're recording, let's let the Facebook audience decide. <laughs> okay, in the comments. Put please. the put it in the comments. No, like, com screaming. Comment below. Give me a kiss to build a dream on, and my imagination will thrive upon that kiss. Sweetheart, I ask no more than this, a kiss to build a dream on. We liked it slower. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. we both agreed with it. I know I did. I don't know about you. Well, what happened in my mind when I was listening to it, what happened for me was, I said, the slower the slower version is going to give you more space for, for expression. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sometimes you get it too fast and then there's no space to be... Have fun. Just, Just want to say, say thanks, thanks, Steve, for hanging out with us. Do you have any final words? <clears throat> no, uh, uh, like I said, it's been about six, seven years, maybe longer, we've been together, and uh, I recommend it to anybody. I mean, uh, it taught me a lot. I learned a lot. I just, uh, it's a matter of getting out and doing it, you know, so, but uh, it's great. There's more jam sessions than there are gigs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Thanks a lot, lot Steve. Yep.